the MonsterVerse has been looking for a steady home for quite some time. And now, thanks to an update about Apple TV's Monarch Legacy of Monsters Season 2, we finally can say that Australia is that home. We got some news to cover regarding the MonsterVerse finally solidifying the land down under as the primary filming location for the franchise moving forward. And a few small things about season 2 of the show that we can expect to see when it drops in late 2025. What's up everyone, welcome to Dangerville, and let's get to it. Now you may not know this, but most of season 1 of Monarch Legacy of Monsters was shot in Canada. And while the Canucks probably don't want to hear this, it seems the MonsterVerse captains are steering this ship in another direction. Which I have to admit is a slight bummer for British Columbia as they are losing a huge economy booster and, I mean come on, when was the last time anything was filmed in Canada? At least as far as I'm aware. But all that aside, Australia, specifically Queensland, is very happy to continue to be the host of the MonsterVerse. Much of Godzilla vs Kong and Godzilla X Kong were filmed in the land Steve Irwin made famous, still miss you man. A local attraction agency called Screen Queensland states that Monarch will be the largest series to have ever been filmed in Queensland. And it seems like they truly are sparing no expense. Screen Queensland CEO Jackie Feeney, at least that's what I think your name sounds like, states, Season 2 of Monarch Legacy of Monsters will provide jobs for around 1,000 local cast and crew. It's a big boost for small businesses who help deliver the production everything from accommodations, medical services, and catering to security, transport, and wardrobe supplies. As the largest television series to film in Queensland, this deal demonstrates the ability of our strategy to secure a pipeline of economy and job-boosting productions. Legendary's MonsterVerse is a fan-favorite franchise which continues to thrill audiences around the world. Securing Monarch Legacy of Monsters, the fourth production to be made in Queensland by this acclaimed studio, is a testament to our winning combination of talented local screen practitioners, world-class facilities, diverse locations, and competitive incentives," Feeney says. Now I've come across mixed reports about just how much money Monarch will bring to Queensland's that's really hard to say, how do you locals say that so easily, to Queensland's local economy. But the number ranges from 75 to 115 million dollars that will go towards the local economy there, allowing the locals to chase new careers or finally get their big break. And I gotta be real with you guys, I'm super jealous. I live in a part of America that the Hollywood folk are afraid of. And believe it or not, America's government is not very supportive when it comes to tax breaks and incentives for filmmakers. This is why so many films are shot abroad these days. The American government needs to stop forcing these giant money producing, economy boosting companies to work outside of their primary origin country and use these productions to boost our own economy, but alas, it is what it is. And I'm happy for the people of Australia. Which money and government strongholds are the primary reasons why Legendary has chosen Queensland as the home of the MonsterVerse? It's always gonna come down to how they can earn the most money. But it doesn't hurt that Australia has such remarkable lands full of astounding scenery, creatures, and solid people looking to work hard for a living. So they do deserve it. Australia is quickly becoming one of the go-to locations for filming and at this rate the country will be right there with America and England regarding this matter in the future I think. And now for a little bit of bonus material here I want to mention another Australia filmed movie about to come out based on the book series I've covered years ago on the channel Primitive War. I know it's crazy they got a movie in the works based on it now that's very cool. So this movie will combine dinosaurs with high stakes military action which honestly sounds like a 1990s wet dream and I cannot wait to see what the team down under has put together. We're going to be covering this independent film as more information comes out, so if you like dinosaurs, you like guns, you like army stuff, and movies like Predator, stay tuned. As far as Monarch Season 2 goes, we have no idea what the story will be about, although it's clear that Season 1 ended in a way that tells us much of Season 2 will take place on Skull Island and will probably follow Kong. And remember everyone, this series takes place before Godzilla vs Kong, so that's why he's still on the island and all that. And if you want more updates on Monarch, Legacy of Monsters Season 2, and all that stuff and everything MonsterVerse related, you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the bell to stay notified when we give out updates. And go enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you later.